we're going to do a little wildlife instructional video here. I am in a state park in Indiana, just driving through. Pulled off to the side of the road, this little pavilion here. And what I am about to show you, I, I came in here looking just out of curiosity. Because I know a little bit about wildlife. Just a little bit. First thing I notice, we got barn swallows. So I look for the barn swallow nest. All right. So we got one up there. There's one over here, one over there. It's three. Let's see. There's another one there. Four. Sorry. And on the other side here, see there's the barn. Barney's right there. On the other side, we got another nest right there. Five. And there's a Barney right there in her nest. So we got uh, six. six. Six pairs of barn swallows. Actually, seven. There's one up there. Uh, that there, I believe, is a robin's nest, probably earlier in the spring. So what, we got seven, seven pairs of barn swallows in here? But that's not all that's in here. That's why I want to show people. Um, I look for things when I come in here because I know, I know, I know what animals use these things. We're by a waterway, okay? I look down on the ground. And this is guano. It's that's bat shit. So you look up. You got more bat shit here. Right? Bat shit on the ledge right here. So where would the bats be? Well, obviously above. So if you look I'm standing in it. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to, I thought I saw some. Oh, yeah, back here. If you look right up in this corner here, I'll try to get all up here. There's a few bats up here. It looks like uh, one, two, three, four, five, maybe six. Six of them. I'm guessing they're big brown bats, which is which is interesting to me because this is facing eastward, which means they're not getting the sun. Bats like it hot, so this is the eastward facing thing, and it's shaded. So, so I was looking for where the, the where would the warm spot be would be on the western end. So there were what maybe about six bats there, and once again. Let's look around on the ground. And what do we see here? Oh, look, more bat guano. They look like hamster turds. By the way, that's really, really good fertilizer. Um, really good fertilizer. And then the other sign that they're there is look at the stain of urine. It's very similar to uh, rabbits hamsters uh, that's that white streaking is their urine and uh, let's see can we see any up there? oh yeah which is interesting because they're they're roosting here you can see these guys a little a little better You see their faces up there, right in the center? Let me try to study this. Oof. Yeah, what is it? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's a pup. I don't know if you can see the pup. Look at the one that's much smaller in the middle. Uh, second one from the right. Looking up there. Let's see, let me point. Uh, I can't point it. Oh, you can't see, but yeah, the smaller one, 
Second one on the right is a pup. Wish I could get a better look. So not a lot of them, but a few. But a few. So once again, how observant are you? I mean, how much do you pay attention to things? Um, since I'm somebody that enjoys wildlife, particularly birds, love birds, um, and I have a, I have a particular thing for the, the, the swallow family. I don't know why, probably because just how they fly. Long association with man. Barn swallows are one of the most numerous species of swallows on the planet. Also one of the longest migrating birds too. They, but they're very widespread. There's a European version, European species. And um, the North American variety is all the way up to Alaska and they migrate down to Argentina. They go from pole to pole. They typically have uh, two to three broods a year in that nest. And this is the perfect habitat for them. It's, it's open, they're round, you see them flying around here doing their thing. Um, here they don't have to worry about snakes and stuff, but raccoons would definitely be an issue here. Raccoons would be an issue. I would have something installed up here to prevent raccoons from climbing in here. The other thing is, nothing would stop Cooper socks from coming in there to grab them either. So, but look at look at the pile of of, of bat guano there. That's just from a few bats. So we have the night shift and the day shift. The insect eating, the insect eating day shift. Yeah, barn swallows are really cool birds. Love them. Absolutely love them. Love them. And I've been trying to track barn swallows to my place for a couple years and not having a lot of luck. I've got a few ideas. Maybe for next year. Maybe for next year. The one on the left is an older bird with adult coloring. The one on the right is a younger bird that was a baby last year, light colored breast. What's called delayed plumage maturation is the technical biological term. And uh, biological means the one on the right is a sub-adult bird. It doesn't have its full adult plumage. But they can breed the first year of their life. So, I hope you found that of interest. Particularly with the bats. Bats are... Uh, having a hard time because of a fungal disease complements of China and people who like to explore caves around the world. They brought a nice little fungus on their shoes and it's all over the world, not all over the country and it is destroying our bat population. Once again, invasive species and disease brought in from Asia. Uh, if, in case you haven't figured it out yet, that is a big problem worldwide because of global trade with China and no one is paying attention to anything. And it pisses me off. Till next time.